Hello everyone, a warm welcome from SCT University. I am Dr. Sunita Sharan from Faculty of Allied Health Science. Today we will be discussing about PCR that is polymerase chain reaction, its principles and various components which are required to carry out the PCR. PCR that is polymerase chain reaction. It is a cyclic temperature dependent reaction which is used to amplify the gene of interest. PCR was developed in 1983 by Kerry B. Mullis, an American biochemist who won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1993 for his invention. The story of the PCR was begun when the tagged DNA polymerase was isolated from the thermostable bacterium Thermus aquaticus. The DNA polymerase isolated from Thermus aquaticus was named as tagged DNA polymerase. The overall idea of the polymerase chain reaction is to get copies of the DNA or gene we wish to study. We can't visualize a few DNAs that is why we need to amplify the DNA. Coming up to the various components of the PCR which includes DNTPs, primers, buffers, template DNA and the equipment. Virtually any form of DNA can be used as template DNA in a PCR reaction. Plasmids, Cosmids, Phasmids, M13 Phas, Genomic DNA and many other sources of DNA have also been used successfully. A PCR can be performed directly on colonies or plaques. DNA Polymerase A wide range of DNA polymerase is available for PCR. A cloned, heat-stable DNA polymerase from Thermus aquaticus that is tagged DNA polymerase is the most commonly used. Other enzymes such as DNA polymerase from Pyrococcus furius PFU DNA polymerase or Thermococcus littoralis that is Vent TM DNA polymerase have also been used nowadays. And oligonucleotide primers. Oligonucleotide primers they are used at a concentration between 0.1 to 1 millimole per liter. Higher concentrations may increase non-specific annealing of primers and thus to non-specific amplification products. PCI primers are normally between 18 to 30 nucleotides in length and should preferably have a guanine and cytosine content of greater than 50%. The temperature at which half the DNA molecules will be double stranded Tm in degree Celsius for primer is estimated by the rule of 2 into number of A's and T's plus 4 into number of G's and C's where A stands for adenine and T stands for thymine, G stands for guanine and C for the cytosine. Now software is also available for performing these calculations. The TM values for the two primers that is the forward and the reverse primers in a reaction should be similar and the annealing temperature used is normally 5 degrees Celsius below the TM. As annealing temperature approaches TM, more specific amplifications are achieved. Now next, deoxynucleoside triphosphates, that is DNTPs, are also used at a specific concentration. Excessively high concentrations promote non-specific product formation. Modified DNTPs are sometimes used to label PCR products with radioactive or fluorescent markers or with haptans such as biotin. The modified DNTP is typically used at a concentration much lower than the unmodified DNTP. Probes can be easily generated using PCR amplification with the labeled nucleotide followed by removal of the unincorporated label. Next, buffer components. Several reagents containing buffer ions, monovalent salts and divalent salts required for polymerase activity has been used in the PCR. The most widely used buffers are TRIS-HCl and KCl. At the extension temperature, the pH of this buffer falls to 7.2, near the optimum for tagged DNA polymerase. Sulfate-containing buffers are also widely used. Monovalent cations are included to adjust the ionic strength. DNA polymerase requires divalent cations for activity, and PCR reactions contain MgCl2, that is magnesium chloride. In general, higher magnesium chloride concentrations promote non-specific primer, annealing and non-specific product amplification. Reaction buffers usually include a low percentage of non-ionic detergents such as IgPAL-2020, Triton X100 to minimize adsorption of polymerase to the surfaces of the PCR tube. 
प्रोटीन सच एज जिलेटिन और बोवाइन सीरम आर एडिड समटाइम्स एट सिमिलर कंसेंट्रेशन एज नॉन आयनाइट डिटर्जेंट्स फॉर द सेम रीजन अदर कॉम्पोनेंट्स डेट हैव बिन रिपोर्टेड टू इंक्रीज पी सी आर प्रोडक्ट ईल्स और स्पेसिफिसिटी ऑन स्पेसिफिक टेम्पलेट्स इंक्लूड ग्लिसरॉल फॉर्माइट डाई मिथाइल सल्फॉक्साइड नाउ नेक्स्ट थर्मल साइकिलिंग इक्विपमेंट थर्मल साइकिल्स डेट कैन मॉनिटर प्रोग्रेस ऑफ द एम्पलीफिकेशन रिएक्शन वाइल इट इज टेकिंग प्लेस आर कॉल्ड रियल टाइम थर्मल साइकिल्स रियल टाइम इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर डिजाइन टू मॉनिटर फ्लोरसेंस फ्रॉम लेबल्स हुज एमिशन इंटेंसिटी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द अमाउंट ऑफ द एम्पलीफाइड डी एन ए फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी वेरियस ग्रेटली अमंग द अवेलेबल मशीन्स बट ऑल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स कैन मेजर फ्लोरसेंस एटलीस्ट वंस ड्यूरिंग द एनिलिंग सेगमेंट ऑफ एवरी साइकिल इंटरग्रेटिंग डाइज सच एज इथीडियम ब्रोमाइड और साइबर ग्रीन दैट हैव बिन सेलेक्टिवली यूज फॉर डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए प्रोवाइड द सिम्पलेस्ट मैथड इन एडिशन टू मॉनिटरिंग फ्लोरसेंस रियल टाइम थर्मल साइकिल प्रोवाइड डेटा एनालिसिस फॉर क्वान्टिफिकेशन ऑफ इनिशियल टेम्परेट कंसेंट्रेशन रियल टाइम पी सी आर हैज बिकम द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर क्वान्टिटेटिव पी सी आर द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट इज वट आर द वेरियस स्टेप्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द पी सी आर द पी सी आर इन्वॉल्व फर्स्ट डी नेचुरेशन सेकेंड अनिलिंग थर्ड एक्सटेंशन कमिंग अप टू द डी नेचुरेशन इट अकर्स एट नाइन्टी फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर फॉर अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू नाइन्टी सेकेंड्स इन दिस स्टेप द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स एट होल टूगेदर द टू स्ट्रेंड्स ऑफ डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए मॉलिक्यूल आर ब्रोकन कॉजिंग द मॉलिक्यूल टू डी नेचर सेकेंड अनिलिंग इट अकर्स एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स After the denaturation, primer anneals to single-stranded DNA at its exact annealing temperature. Based on the GC content of the primers, every primer has its own annealing temperature. The annealing temperature is usually ranging from 55 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. The annealing temperature lower than that leads to non-specific bindings, while higher temperature leads to amplification failure. Next step: extension. In this the temperature is raised to 74 degrees Celsius. This is the optimum working temperature for the tag DNA polymerase. At this stage the tag DNA polymerase attaches to one end of the each primer and synthesizes new strands of the DNA which are complementary to the template DNA molecule. Again the temperature is raised to 94 degrees Celsius. This begins the second cycle of denaturation and annealing synthesis of DNA molecules. By repeating this cycle 25 times the double stranded molecules that we began with is converted into over 50 million new double stranded molecules now the temperature and time variation in the pcr can be presented as in this figure the denaturation is followed by annealing and finally extension of the new dna strand by the dna polymerase the temperature and the duration plays an important role to successfully carry out the pcr reaction The overall mechanism of the PCR can be summarized as First, the double-stranded DNA molecule is denatured. It is converted into single-stranded DNA molecules. to which the primers attach to the single stranded dna molecules followed by the addition of the dna polymerase which act on the single stranded molecules and they extend the primers thus we get to amplify the given segment of the dna By repeating this cycle 25 times the double stranded molecules that we began with is converted into over 50 million new double stranded molecules Today we learn about the principle of PCR in the coming lectures we will learning about post PCR analysis and its applications Till then keep learning keep growing stay safe thank you